Welcome back everyone, it's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon for Nintendo 3DS. Let's continue on with our adventures here, shall we? I'm excited! Got a lot happening, right? We're at the point where we're probably going to go hit the Elite Four, and I'm super excited for that because it's been a long adventure. And I wanted to say thanks to each and every one of you guys who have been smashing that like button, sharing the video with a friend, of course, of course, answering our question of the day. So our question of the day today is how many times have you changed your main team? Starting from the beginning, where you had six Pokemon from all the way till, I don't know, till the Elite Four, or to the end, till you become the champion. I'm curious about that. So, um, yeah, it's, it's happened a couple times. Remember we started off with Ghastly and I'm like, oh dude, Ghastly's gonna be so great. And then we're like, all right, well, Decidueye is gonna be a little redundant with that. So let's, let's get rid of Ghastly. And then we had, who else is on our team? I remember. And like now we had Noi Noi, right? And then Noi Noi's kicked to the curb because we got this very brand new Ultra Beast on our team. So there's a lot of things going on. And then tell me about it too. Tell me in the comments. Don't just throw a number over there. Tell me about your team and then why you made the decisions on who you wanted in your team. That's what I want to hear about in the comment section below. And plus, you guys already know my answer. If you guys have been paying attention to the 46 episodes prior to this, right? How many? Yeah, yeah, 47? <laughs> this is episode 48. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Uh, we're going to go bag. I'm going to use that big Roto experience points. I'll be at your service. All right, let's go, Pokemon. We're all set. Yeah, Poipole's at 48. He's doing some decent work, but we have to make it. We have to make it to the Pokemon Center. If we don't make it to that Pokemon Center, he's going to stay a Poipole forever. Have at you. No, have at you, my good friend. Yeah, Ace Trainer. Seth. He's, uh, yeah, Scyther. Ooh. Okay, so he's got Flying Bug. Ooh, man, if I had Noibat right here, he'd have a field day. All right, we're going to go with uh, Raichu. In case he wants to do a Flying-type move, I'm going to switch into Raichu. And, of course, we're only bringing Poipole out at the beginning to, one, use the Amulet Coin, and for two... Oh, x Scissor! wow, why did I switch in a Bug-type? Or why did I switch in this guy? That made no sense. I don't know why I did that. I'm like, oh, electric, I can knock him out. Look at him surviving with one HP. Get out of here. That's garbage. Nah, man, forget that. That's real trash. All right, but whatever. Poipole, you got this, man. You can take one hit. I know you can take a hit. Let's go Fell Stinger, dude. What if I KO'd him with Fell Stinger? Not very effective, but it'll be fine. Uh, when the user knocks out a target with this move, the user's attack stat rises drastically. I'm not going to use an attack stat. But hey. I think this is the only time I have ever knocked out a single Pokemon with... <laughs> with Spell Stinger. I've never done that. Oh, that's kind of cool, though. Malamar? No, man, I'm going to stay in. Malamar Psychic? Oh my gosh, you are Psychic Dark, aren't you? Doesn't Fell Sting... Isn't that, like, ultra effective on you? How many levels am I? Dude, raising drastically. Okay, that's plus three. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, you know what? Poipo's going to do some work with Fell Stinger. That's a plus three Fell Stinger. And look, oh my gosh, if I if he had another Pokemon, I would be at plus six. With the beast boost. Oh my goodness gracious. Dude, don't discount Fell Stinger. Do not. I don't know how it can be used competitively, but oh my goodness. If you get a KO with Fell Stinger, that's bad. It is a bad day. Wow, I never really thought of that move. I always slept on it, you know? I've always slept on that. Alright, uh, let's sort. Uh, sort by type, yeah, I guess. Oh, that's really all I got is just hyper potions? Alright, whatever. 
Dude, I got the money to go buy stuff. We got 400, we almost have half a million polka dollars right here, so we're, we're good. I need to go stock up though, yeah I do. All right, here we go. Hurry up, I can't go that way. There's a lot of trainers over here. What's the matter, trainer? Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, you. It's not just Pokemon, we trainers need to evolve too. Uh, I guess you evolved from a preschooler to a, an ace trainer? Kaylee? Dude, fell stinger. Shinotic. Shinotic is grass fairy? Quad weak against poison, is that right? I don't know. I don't know what the heck you are. Besides, dead. Knocked out. Boom, you're gone. You're gone. Oh, Poibull's actually doing his own work. With that big beast boost. Speed rising. Wow. Okay. Cool. Level 49. Awesome. Doing his own work finally. Uh, Clefable. Oh, I will absolutely stay in on Clefable. Come here. Poison type against a fairy type? Yeah. You bet. Sludge Bomb. I had to teach him Sludge Bomb, because I felt that that would be a really good metronome. Oh, explosion, explosion, explosion. Self-destruct. Synthesis? Oh, come on. You got lucky. Turn that two-hit KO into a three-hit KO? You are joking me. All right, all right, here we go. You're about to get Fell stinger No, but Fell stinger doesn't work. It's not conducive to uh, Poipole here. Absolutely not. It's not, because he's not a physical attacker. Poi Pole's expertise lies in special attacks. So, that's kind of where that is. Dude, Raichu 59, not bad. That's 10 levels higher than where I'm at? Oh my. <laughs> oh man. We got some work to do. All right, let's do it. Uh, we're gonna come on down. We're gonna say hello. Hello. Hello, veteran. I hear something interesting has been built, so I just had to see it for myself. It looks like we're gonna be climbing up this mountain. I didn't remember that there was actually an interior of this. Hey, Alonsa. Lickitung. Lickitung is typically a special attacker. It knows moves like slam, lick. I don't know. I'm gonna attempt to attack it. Uh, I'm gonna nasty plot up one. I think I could take one hit. Unless it has like a, a rogue psychic or something. Power whip grass, okay. You all stay in on that all day. He got a crit from that too. All right, well, I got a plus two up. I think I'm gonna be okay with this. This is gonna be a KO. No, it's not. Chip away? Yowie! Ow! Ow, dude, here. You know what? You deserve this. Let's go. Hyper Potion. I think I'm gonna get to plus four. Now that I know your moveset has Power Whip. Roll out? Oh, great. Okay, you know what? That's fine. Roll out gets a little bit stronger every time you use it, but at the same time... It has a high chance to miss, and you can lose your combo. He didn't use Defense Curl beforehand, so... She's gonna keep on rolling out. Oh, wow. Good job, dude. Here we go. You know, I can actually get to plus six. And I'm going to. Because I know she's got another Pokemon in, in, the, in the wings here. So I just got, I got to plus six, and now nothing is gonna stop me. Barring a crit rollout. <laughs> crit rollout. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this. Here we go, Sludge Bomb. You're done. Beast boost, that speed up. Good. Okay, so nothing's gonna outspeed me now. Gudra, a poison. No, a dragon. A dragon type who's about to get poisoned. No, but Assault Vest Gudra, that's really where it's at. This is a plus six. Stab. Oh my gosh, no way. Aqua Tail? Get out of here with that nonsense. Are you kidding me? That was a plus six. That thing's gotta be... He's gotta be assault vested, man. There's no way. Stupid. All right, here we go, psychic, let's go. Mm. 
There's no way. Outrage? Are you crazy? Physical Gudra doing work. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> no one runs a physical Gudra. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness. All right, so that's cool. Congratulations, you did some work. Lycan Rock 64. All right, the way you and your Pokemon paddle, that was definitely worth seeing. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Uh, all right, well, let's uh, let's use some revives. And let's use some Hyper Potions. Okay, sweet. So we're back, we're back up and running. Poipol didn't like me too much, but that's okay. What's going on over here? Like a different area? <clears throat> oh, sweet. Team 84, Poison Jab. Cool, we'll take it. Not gonna say no to a free TM. All right, what do I, I prefer powerful Pokemon. Hurry, we gotta find another battle. Not our wild battle though, that's a waste of time. Oh, an Absol, okay. Absol, I used a lot. He, he learns Thunder Wave, he learns uh, False Swipe. He's got a lot of good moves on him, but uh, I'm not gonna waste my time over here. We gotta get out of here. Bag. We are going to use a Repel. Max Repel. Okay, here we go. Max Repel. Uh, okay, I don't care about the advice. A champ shoving. Yeah, we're gonna push this right into that ditch, and we're gonna push that other rock into that ditch. Hurry, we gotta go! Yes, perfect, we made it. We made it to one of the last battles before the Roto power went away. So that's good. Hey, it's worker Ovid. Ovid? What kind of name is that? Is that Russian? I don't know, I've never met someone named Ovid. But half of you guys have probably never met anyone named Abdallah either, so hey. So this is Relicanth. I am not going to do anything aside from switching to Decidueye on this one because Decidueye's got the grass move. Relicanth is a rock water type. So you're gonna get that ultra effective bonus and you're gonna attempt to put me asleep. Don't worry, you're not gonna survive one hit. Here we go, level 50. I'm 15 levels higher than you. How? I have no idea. We didn't do, I literally did no off-screen grinding. It's just the power of traded Pokemon over here. The power of traded Pokemon. It's what it is, like you, if you have a friend that has some Pokemon that you want and you want um, you want an easier time in the game, dude, all you have to do is just have them trade you some Pokemon, maybe some breed jacks, you know, some uh, if they're doing some Pokemon breeding or whatnot. And uh, yeah, just use them. It's, the game is gonna be so much easier, it's crazy. All right, so we're gonna go Roto, what? Stealth and Counter? Roto and Counter, all right. I mean, that's really not what I'm gonna be using. Okay, Max Revive, let's go. What do you got? Okay, hold on, hold on. And a Max Elixir, cool, thanks. That was really good, I enjoyed that. All right, uh, I'm actually gonna bring this guy out because he, I know there's something around here. No, there's not. Oh, 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 where, where? Over there on top. Okay, here we go. Watch it be a rare candy. Dang it. Wait, I have a Max Repel on, don't I? A Glalie. Okay. Glalie. Maybe the Max Repel is based off of, uh, my first Pokemon? Is that how it works? Run! Okay, here we go. Oh, dude, you like how I predicted that? Tell me you guys like how I predicted that. It was a rare candy. Where are we even going? All right, anyway. <clears throat> so we went over here, we pushed the rock there, we pushed the rock the other side, and it's just gonna be a bunch of level 50s coming at me, so I don't wanna, I don't wanna mess with them. Glalie. You're wasting my time, Glalie. I gotta go to the top of the Pokemon Center and evolve, so let's do this. That's it. 
That was Mount Lanakila? Tell me it was. Oh my! Are you guys all gonna fight me? Oh, you guys are gonna fight me, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Just to make sure, we'll use another Roto experience points. We got seven left, we might as well. I'll be at your service. Let's go, fight me, old men. We may be far away from home, but our fighting dojo travels with us. All are welcome. Two black belts at once. This is going to be a head-on battle, you understand? You didn't give me a minute to answer, old dude. All right, whoa, what do you know? It's the same NPC. I've never seen that before. Beware. And, oh, okay, one trainer has two Pokemon. And the other trainer has uh, three Pokemon. Or two, one Pokemon. All right, we're gonna go with uh, this on you, and we're gonna go with the Psychic on Beware. Because I do not want to mess around with this big bear. Like, I just want to get him out. He's scary. Like, his Pokedex entry says that if he hugs you, you're dead. <laughs> Sludge Bomb, go. Whoop. Nope, you turn. Where are you going? Oh, that's super effective, too. Yowie! Oh! Woo! Well, at least I know I outspeed him. Oh, Machamp. Huh. Alright, let's see if Machamp can take a Psychic. We're gonna go here, and we're gonna do a Psychic, and we're gonna be good. Okay, good. That was a Stab Psychic. I don't think they can take that. Incineroar, 62. Great. Uh, Sludge Bomb didn't do anything. Should have nasty plotted. Well, no, I shouldn't have. It didn't matter. Alright, so here we go. I'm going to do my last Sludge Bomb to my name. And, of course, we're going to use Psychic. So, my question is, if I replace Sludge Bomb with another TM move, and then I reteach him Sludge Bomb, will I get the power points back? <laughs> like, a, like a cheap way of using, like, a, an Ether, uh, or an Ether, whatever. I couldn't even do my sway back move. I head on battle and we lost? Yeah, sorry, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, how about this? I want to test it out, honestly. Of course it's going to work that way. It's, a, it's, a, it's one way of doing it, right? So I'm going to teach him protect. Over sludge bomb. What? Abdallah, what are you doing? No, don't do that. That's his best move! <laughs> Sludge Bomb. Dude, don't worry. Sludge Bomb's a TM. Alright, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's called a budget. <laughs> yeah, sure, use another repel. That's called a budget Pokemon healing, right? Or healing their um, power points. Budget Max Elixir. If you have all TM moves, switch them out and learn new moves and then relearn them again. Bet you guys didn't know that. Okay, Crabomitable. Wow. And How Lucha. Okay. Here we go, Boypal. Let's do it, dude. Alright, Crabomitable's fighting. And we got 10 more Sludge Bombs, so this is gonna be working. Alright, let's go How Lucha. And uh, of course, I'm gonna use Psychic on Crabominable. Because I feel that I can take him out. You know, I should have done it the other way around, though. I should have aimed for Halucha. Because I'm afraid of Halucha. I think he's going to do, like, a high jump kick, sky drop, something crazy like that. Speed 96. Attack 89. Special attack is 90. Not bad. Not bad. Primarina 66. Alright, let's go. Sky attack. Whoa, don't tell me you have that mental herb or whatever. Oh, he doesn't. Wow, go figure. He got poisoned. That's pretty cool. Alright. Um, another sludge bomb should take him out, but we do have psychic, so knock him out with psychic. Oh man, because uh, I don't know if it's mental herb or there's a, there's an item. White herb, I'm sorry. White herb. 
white herb sky attack. That's the combo. So if you hold on to a white herb, you have sky attack ready, and it makes your two turn sky attack only one turn, which is so devastating. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're also going to do this. So I hope this, oh, no effect. Hey, I used die, I didn't realize he's a dark type. Oh gosh, ah, yowie, it's over. That was very a misplay on my part. Yup. Yes, it was. I'm like, okay, he's just a panda. I forget he's a dark type. I don't see Pangoro that much. All right, whatever. You dumb Pangoro. All right, eat this Pangoro. Brick break, super effective, enjoy it. Boom, slice him and dice him. That was rough. Sorry, Raichu. How frustrating. The guy next to me feels frustrated too. I'm losing my strength. Dude, there's four of you guys and you're the same NPC. Like literally, Game Freak. Copy, paste. Ah, put him over here. Ah, put him over here. Where are we? Oh my, whoa, hold on, hold on. What? Hold, this is all new to me. What's going on? Oh, so scary. All right, here we go, here we go. Uh, I need a revive. We'll use it on you. And we'll use a hyper potion too, because you know what? What's the point of having the items if you don't use them, right? All right, Poipo, let's go. Let's show them who's boss. Listen up, Master. Here's where I give you advice. Necrozma has fallen to the ground and weak and drained of power. Will you share the light of your Z power ring with him? Yeah, sure. Is he gonna be like the level 75 Necrozma like in Pokemon Sun or what? 65? And I can capture. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our first quick ball, uh, quick ball challenge. Let's make it count. I'm not gonna capture in a, in a quick ball. Don't, don't, don't. The heck, I didn't want that. No, dude. No. No. No, we're not gonna catch Necrozma in a quick ball. No, man. That's stupid. That's really dumb. And yeah, okay, it was cool. Ha ha ha, I captured the legendary in a quick ball. I'm so awesome. No, you're not awesome. You just got lucky. And he maybe, he already has, he probably has like a capture rate. That's just like uh, Solgaleo and Lunala in the first game, which is like a really, really like easy capture rate. So no, no, we're not gonna do that. Why did I even throw a quick ball? I knew it wasn't gonna work. Come on, man. All right, here we go, Decidueye. He's 65, right? So I gotta find something to hit him with. I'm gonna lead off with Raichu. If we don't catch this fool in a Premier Ball, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> Premier Ball, that's my thing. You know what I mean? We, we try to do a challenge. It's called the Premier, hashtag Premier Ball Challenge. That's what we do here. We don't catch him in Ultra Balls. We don't lob our Master Ball at him. No, absolutely not. We don't throw a Quick Ball. Absolutely not. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that kind of frustrated me. Everyone else would be like, dude, Abdali, you just caught him in a quick ball first toss. Congratulations, that's awesome. No. I don't have a status inducer in the game. So capturing him in uh, a Premier Ball is going to be a challenge. I don't have anyone. No one on the team has any status moves. Yeah, no one's got T-Wave. I should put T-Wave on Raichu. You know what? That's what I should do. I should um, 
soft reset and get that going. Uh, that'll make things a lot easier. His capture rate is probably really, really easy to get. Because he's probably... Capturing him is pr probably part of the story. What was that? Okay, cool. Here we go. Now we play our game. Now we play our game. Premier Ball Challenge, Episode 1. Thank you. <laughs> no, man, that's funny. That was legit funny. I think if you throw any Pokeball at him, I think he's gonna be fine. And I don't know, you can see a summary too. This is gonna be a garbage Necrozma. Like, you can soft reset for him as much as you want. This one's a uh, calm natured. Okay, so minus attack plus special defense. No way, dude. <sighs> Wait, you have an item called Ultra Necrosium Z? What the heck? This is a crystallized form of Z power. It upgrades Necrozma's Photon Geyser to a Z move. Are you joking? Prism Armor reduces the power of super effective attacks taken. Dude, Necrozma's good. Like, this is a good Pokemon. Holy moly, though. All right, cool. Alert to sounds. That's a plus speed IV. That's awesome. And we got him at one HP. So, hey, you know what? We got him in a Premier Ball. I'm happy. Let's get him out of here. Uh, let's, uh, let's send to a box. Oh, man. I'm gonna remove it. Thank you. I'm gonna take that. Ultra... What? Ultra Necrosium Z? You found a Z crystal that fell from Necrozma. Ultra Necrosium Z. Wow, splendid. It's been a while, Abdallah. You must be a formidable trainer, indeed, if you're able to get Necrozma as one of your allies. Good, and this is from me. The Ultra Recon Squad asked me to develop a device that would be able to control Necrozma, but I improved it with my own liking. And now it is a device that makes it possible to draw out even more power from Necrozma. Yes, in short, it makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Solgaleo. This is the Colrus Machine number 1198, officially dubbed the End Solarizer. Cool. You open up the key items pocket and put the End Solarizer inside. Alright, in addition, this is the Colrus Machine 1199, officially dubbed the End Lunarizer. It makes it possible for Necrozma to fuse with the legendary Pokemon Lunala. And the Lunarizer, that's cool. Ah, uh, yes, I've heard, in fact, that you first met Solgaleo. No, it's pre-evolved Cosmog upon Mahalo Trail. I believe that a trainer like you will be able to use both Alola's legendary Pokemon and the fearsome power of Necrozma properly. I happen to know quite a bit about Pokemon Fusion myself. But that is a different tale, of course. What is that, uh, like Kyurem? Black Kyurem? White Kyurem? Good luck in your battles. Well, thanks, Colrum. I mean, Colrus. <laughs> Colrum. That's the fusion of Colrus and Curum. Absolutely. Yup, in case you guys didn't know, he knows a little bit about fusion himself. He fused himself with a, uh, with a Pokemon. But hey, that's pretty cool. We got ourselves in a Krozma. Uh, oh, this is the Ice Rock in which you can... Oh, okay. What was that? I didn't like that. That was a little weird. Okay, um... Yeah, let's uh, switch around to Pokemon, shall we? Here, I'll just toss a revive your way, just so you don't lose out on the valuable experience. I will also use the Roto experience points. Don't look at me, don't look at me. Okay, good. <laughs> because I gotta switch out my Pokemon. Okay, yeah, this this ice stone is uh, to get what Glaceon, right? If you use uh, Glaceon over here, level up your EV next to the stone, and then out of nowhere it turns into Glaceon. Pretty cool. All right, so we got Backpacker Misty over here. 
Emolga, flying electric type. Okay, I think I can do some work. Emolga versus Poipole, I think we can do it. If I get a nasty plot up. Yeah, let's get a nasty plot up. Discharge, Ooh, you're very fast. Okay, that's a three hit, three to four hit KO. Now, if I can ensure that this Sludge Bomb is gonna do some work. A two hit KO, I can win. Encore, oh no! <laughs> That's bad. We have officially lost this round. Because if you can Encore someone and you're faster than them into a status move like that, it's over. So I'm forced to switch. Congratulations, Emolga, you win. Good job, you baby flying squirrel. You baby Zapdos, you. Volt switch, where are you going? You're not going anywhere. You're only you're the only Pokemon. Come here. Just for that, I'm gonna I'm out I'm so outraged that you predicted that. Emolga. Poi pole. Excellent. You're full of strength, and we fully admit defeat. Okay. Let's go! We got a little bit of time left. Oh, there's like, there's more trainers. We're gonna beat all the trainers and then we're gonna head out. Okay? And we'll end off the episode, it'll be good. You're challenged by Ace Trainer Jada. Vanillax. Okay, so that's ice cream. Okay, so that's ice cream. I don't know, but I want a nasty plot up. I'm gonna outspeed. And I think I could take like a frost breath. Acid armor, look at you! Trying to be like Vaporeon with acid armor. That's a bad idea there. I could set up all over that. I can get one more in. Look, this is me plus four. I'm hitting the opposite polar of his defense that he's boosting. M mirror coat, oh man, that would have been a surprise. That would have been a huge surprise. But now you just revealed your deck. You revealed your hand, my friend. Give me some ice attack. Hail, okay. Hail, acid armor, mirror coat, are you crazy? Unless you're busting out a focus sash I don't know about. I got this game in the bag. Sludge Bomb, you're gone, that's a plus six. Get out of here. Plus six, set up all over him. Beast boost, plus speed. No one's gonna outspeed me now. Miss Magius. Uh, poison against a ghost type? Probably not the best thing, right? It's a resisted hit. But it's at plus six, so it's gotta do some work. Two hit KO, I'll take it. I'll take a two hit KO, and I'll take the poison. That's fine, didn't matter. Astonish. Yowie, ooh, that's okay. Done. Cool. Easy, right? One more battle, let's go. It looks like it's a double. A veteran and an ace trainer, of course. I never stop honing my skills as an ace. My skills as a veteran have not dwindled. They throw their Pokeballs up in the air and sink. Like they're buddies or something. Master and Apprentice. Whoa. You got different titles, but yet you're the same NPC. Hmm. Vicavolt Glalie. Well, uh, we're not in any good position here with these two Pokemon that are nearly dead. Great. I'm gonna go for the Sludge Bomb on Vickable. And I'm just gonna go for the Z... Z Bloom Doom on Glalie because... Oh, you're kidding! He nailed the Glalie and he's fat. Oh my gosh. He nailed the Blizzard and got us both. Well, and he got a free agility boost. Wow, what just happened?
Well, what do you mean use Z power? I didn't even use Z power to begin with, dude. Pay attention. All right. Well, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna rock these dudes. I'm gonna bring in. You're gonna go on the left, and then I need Incineroar. What a way to end off the episode, huh? Okay, so I'm gonna go for that big stone edge on Glalie. We're also gonna go for the big uh, flare blitz on Vickable. Yeah. Stone edge, Glalie, done. Get out of here. I cannot believe that he just double KO'd my Pokemon. Kinda wanna bust out a revive. Use a turn to bust out a revive so that I don't lose out on the experience, right? Vickable gone. I'll take that huge recoil damage though, that's fine. Okay, Tremarina 67, awesome. Raichu 61. Tyranitar? What? Hold on. And who? Fortress? Oh my. Well, that's something. I do not want to. Let's see. We can go. Crunch on Fortress. And then, dude, Tyranitar and fighting type moves? Oh my gosh, that's so bad. So here we go, we're gonna do the crunch on you. It's not gonna do anything, trust me, because Fortress's defense is awesome. Brick Break though, that's times four ultra effective, you're done. Like we're losing so many frames because of everything that's happening on screen right now. Gyro Ball is super effective, good job. Wow, that did a lot of work, dude, dang. Bisharp? Ah, oh, man. Uh, I gotta do something against Bisharp. Stone Edge on Bisharp? No. Thunderfang on Bisharp? Yeah, we'll use Thunderfang. And then uh, I'm just gonna use Flare Blitz on Fortress just to get him out. Thunderfang is half off today. Great. Ooh, that's super effective. Wow, I'm gone. Dang, dude. These guys aren't kidding around, Master and Apprentice. They're stronger than like all the captain's trials. Okay, Bisharp. Let's see what you got, dude. He's busting out the sand team. So he's a dark, he's a dark steel, right? Oh, that's gonna be so strong. Here we go. I'm just going to charge beam and we will absolutely use a uh, brick break. Because it's ultra effective, what? Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. We were not prepared for these fools. He took out like three or four of my Pokemon. All right, congratulations, 16,000 bucks for doing that. Luckily, a Pokemon Center is right up ahead and we can get the heck out of Dodge because that was insane, right? No Pokemon Center just yet. Oh my gosh, whatever. That's fine. We'll figure it out. No, I'm pretty sure that up the elevator, the Pokemon Center is right there. That's insane though. Okay, so a lot of cool things happened on today's episode. Uh, we got ourselves a Necrozma. We caught him in an ult, uh, with a Quick Ball first turn, right? Quick Ball first turn, yay, we did it, right? Huzzah. Quick Ball first turn. Uh, we're ready, we're ready, let's do it. Answer the comment question of the day. How many times have you changed your main team? I'm very curious, like what, uh, how many times that happened? So, yes, uh, things are happening. Yes, right on screen here. Oh, okay, good, taking a little longer, a little, a little laggy, no worries. All right, you guys are great, thanks for watching. If you guys want to participate in the lounges that we're doing, definitely take a look at it. There's a link in the description below at the very end. Go take a look at that, watch the episodes, hang out, trade, battle, so on and so forth, do it. Watch the playlist over here, newest video on my channel, recommendations, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. We'll talk to you on the next one. Take care.